Welcome back everybody into another daily recap. Today is Monday 22nd of November and we're going to have a look at gold and Bitcoin. As you can see already from gold, this morning analysis we were around 1845, uh, slightly below as you can see. And I had these buy sensitivity areas, areas of interest um, under my radius. And as you can see, we were below, we were, we saw a reaction at 18.45 and also during the London pre-London session we had some reactions and as you can see the hourly candle, always all the candles failed to break above. After that, during London price went bearish, continuation bearish and during New York we had, especially at 3 p.m., we have the confirmation of Powell as a chair of Fed, which brought optimism to, to the markets, especially to the stock markets and um, to the dollar as well. On Bitcoin, what we saw was more or less the same thing. We have an up, uh, so it was starting here this morning, and I had these various price sensitivity areas. And as you can see, during the morning, we had not a lot of volume, uh, during the first hours of uh, yeah, during Lon London, the first real hour was during New York, and uh, we were in this range with all failures to break above 57,600. Uh, New York grabbing liquidity and then flipping bullish, reacting more or less at this pre planned PSA, and then optimism towards as well into the market for US dollar sort of sell-off of Bitcoin as well and 200, 300 pips move uh, till 55k which is where we are now as you can see we basically went range to range 300 pips on gold this was a much much bigger range is like 400 pips reacting at the key levels and it's something that doesn't really happen often and as you can see as we're going to see this is gold on the one minute. This is doing pre London. And as you can see, we have the first reaction here at um, 18.45. Nice pin bar. And uh, this one at the minute. Okay, as you can see. is a good pattern for the reversals and you get to 30 pips and out 3 to 1 then of course you start considering that we are making a short term um, higher lows higher highs still strong reaction at the level and you can see very strong also bearish candle if we have a candle that gives us a um, retest of the level, it would be a good entry. Smaller and smaller. Bullish candle. Okay, so far no. Some exhaustion. Let's see where price is going. Okay, looks like we are reacting at this PSA on the left, those previous lows. And then, okay, finally closing below. We are closing and making a top, a lower wick. Let's see if this trade was good. Okay, this entry didn't work because it reacted exactly at these previous lows and as you can see made a new higher uh, higher low. So far I will need more confirmations below here to enter cells again. If I see more exhaustion from buyers. Okay, 
closure below here might give us that the trade oh yes yes this time goes to 30 pips pretty easily even more as you can see would have been 17 80 pips pullback remember now we are still in a bearish trend this is just a pullback this is a very aggressive pullback i'm gonna say of course if you enter here this would have been a nice 45 pips after one first second high but still not clear confirmation yet we had the first reactions here and then price reacted over there as you can see okay strong very strong double top where can we see an entry a scalp entry possible here it is very high risk yes i will wait to i will wait for price to break below here okay Mm, I don't know why now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. As you can see, another bounce to the to the trend line, and as you can see, we get a small loss. It's perfectly normal after this huge win. do we see new highs being printed mm. not so far pin bar as you can see 30 pips after the pin bar at this PSA we also have another entry with this strong candle it's very very big we wait this one, uh, 10 pips from this, so this one looks okay, 30 pips, enter here, now this is New York, made a top week, as you can see, made a top week, close bearish, oof, nice, completely stopped out bounce from the PSA Make, do we have enough this is counter trend I don't really like it yeah we don't, I don't really like to take the buy over there and as you can see it's a, a good idea where could we enter the cells Yeah, uh, the, the range is too high, too big. Unless I enter with 15 pips, which is like this. Yeah, very possible. 45 pips okay let me just make the screen okay now we are at the key level 1836 we are approaching the other um psa first strong reaction at the key level giving you 30 pips straight away 
is a more 50 pips if you had um, a buy limit. It's something that gold does often. Another possible way entry here. Let's see. So this one goes away. 10 pips is a nice range. Okay, and then you get to the um, announcement of power being confirmed. But as you can see, even uh, we are already in a bearish trend and it goes to profit. So first tap, aggressive tap of the other key level, 1828. 40 pips. And then continuation down. Too aggressive as an uh, for entries. Let's see if we are set up at the key level. Possibly here. No, these ranges are, are just too big. Yeah, we are too far away from the key level. Let's see if we have another opportunity. These two candles are good. 10 pips is not a not now it was 15 pips. The ranges are much much different than pre London and London. Okay, you get to profit. Uh, yeah, you get to profit. Possible re entry over here. possible re-enter over here, all in trend. This is the main key. Ah, 15 pips is, here you have to give it at least 20. No, this is, here is too big. You cannot enter at the close of this candle. Either you enter here, Yes, you have to enter with 15 pips over there. Okay. Nice. Candle, let's see. Let's see. Uh, probably would have got out before if it was live. But price is never closing even at the entry. And goes to TP. And we are at 18.03. And the volume is sort of dying out. Okay, so in trend, as you can see, it's very, very good to enter. I already had the screenshot of this one. Let's see Bitcoin really fast. Okay, this is where I got my two losses this morning. about the PPL.
So you have price trending. No weeks at all. If you enter here, you will be in a loss, but you did the trade setup. So it is what it is. Let me reject it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this one. Okay, so you see a strong rejection. You see breaking and retesting this previous PSA. Break and retest the key level and close this like this. This is as well very high risk. Well, so far is working, not a single candle closing above the PPL. TP1 it and TP2. Well, possibly it, uh, I think no, but anyway, you get out here. So it's a good trade. Okay. Now you see some rejection. So the bearish bias is a little bit sketchy you see but you see this reaction regressive entry could be here but we are not at a ppl but here Okay, yes, we probably get out at break even here. Okay, when do we switch to a bullish bias? Okay, with a retest here on the level, here is not working. Yeah, it's not working. Of course, you don't stay in. Or you get out with a small loss. Okay, so the main bias, bearish. I don't think we can say that we are in a main bias bearish anymore. We are sort of ranging. I don't like this entry too much. As you can see here, if I enter sells here, yeah, I will be out. Closing above the PPL, there's no reason to stay in. That's why I didn't enter at all. Again, this candle is the same, is the same. Possibly this one. I don't want to see below much more strength below this level. Okay. So at this stage, but the fact that we are in the middle of the range. Yeah, I don't like this pin bar. I don't like that we are in the middle of the range. I will, yeah. Here would have been a nice entry, but we don't have it. We have a rejection and not even the confirmation of buys. Yes, we have the kind of setup, but look how weak it is. Possibly this one. But we are too far away from the PPL. 
and we are still in this range. There's no reason could I possibly easily get rejected here. But interesting stuff. Strong rejection. Yeah. Very, very close. And here. I don't know if I like it. I like this one in continuation. Okay, so let's say this one is too hard to high risk a reward. What about this one? This one I like it. How do you feel about it? Okay, how we 25 pips. I will probably take partials here and let the rest run to break even. It goes to TP. Okay, very nice. Very nice entry. Let me just do this. Okay. Further entry here, but there's no retest. Mm -mm -mm. No. Yes, exactly. Good idea. What the, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, no entries. Possible, only possible entry here, closing above those levels, 15 pips, and three, three minutes, get the candles, okay, very bullish, the point is that these are 25 pips. I cannot enter here. Yeah, I cannot enter there. So I have to wait for price to come down. I mean, I like the volatility, but okay. So now we, what we have is a correction. Let's see. Okay, very nice, a nice pin bar. If you miss this one, I will enter here, and this pin bar. Uh, but I said here. And TP it. Further entries. Multiple pin bars. Let's see, let's wait below the key level, the BBM. Multiple rejections. Okay. Mm. Here could have been. Could have been a loss. In three minutes. Yes. Okay. Okay, some more volatility. Much nicer candle. And the other. NTP it okay so 
So two wins, one loss, overall in the same trend bias, strong rejection, possible going bullish now, but again combination of cells, uh, I don't know if I would like to enter cells here, I don't think I have to decide. No, still too big, too big of a canvas. Yeah. I don't have space to close above the PPL. Yeah, let's see if we have another opportunity. Okay, nice. This one, let's see. Uh, I think it's too big as well. The, the difference that is that we are closing not with any rejections on the left hand side and below the 57.6 that was the PSA from the morning. Okay, if it closes above, I don't like it. Okay, so far so good. Possible re-entry even here and here. So I will leave it like this. Possible re-entry. Okay, further re-entry. Okay, was almost TP it. Still very bearish aggression. Okay, so as you can see, we are clear in a clear bearish trend. One, two, also this one is a nice entry. There you go in trend with the same kind of setup at the PPLs. Very good. Below here, yeah, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, in this case, it get stopped out. Okay. Okay, nice. Possible entry again. I like this pin bar. Okay, so of course, now you, you look, look like this, but you got to your 30 pips partials. So it's an actually 80% at um, DP and the rest break even. Let me just one more two, okay. Okay. Strong bounce. On the level, look at the pin bar, how nice. TP. This one is a nice pin bar on the opposite side. Add the PPL. Mm. 
at 30 pips okay no cells there just messy by suction okay this one goes to that of course okay let's say this Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So this is it, guys. See you guys tomorrow.